Okay. Hey, hey, no, hey, don't walk away from me. No, 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 what's said is no, said. No, no, don't walk away no, from no, no. Who else is on your list? A new potential villain was revealed on last night's episode of The Bachelorette. Hey guys, welcome back to another Bachelor Nation update. I have the latest on all the drama that went down during last night's episode, but before we get into it, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you do not miss out on any future videos. Before we get started, is anyone else honestly exhausted with this franchise? Watching the show is starting to feel like a chore for me, and I just really wish that we had a longer break between Paradise and Michelle's season, but whatever, I am still watching. Of course, our original villain, Pizza Peter, was eliminated last week, which was honestly shocking because as we know, producers love to hold on to those villains as long as they can in order to stir the pot. So with our main villain leaving, obviously we had to expect someone else to take his spot. And it turns out that that person is Chris S. The group date last night was hosted by the Bella Twins and the men were forced to fight each other with giant stuffed animals. Keep in mind, the producers gave Chris S tight underwear to wear for this group date. So we knew something would happen with him eventually. It was all fun and games for the men, but Michelle got pretty upset because she didn't feel seen. She revealed to Caitlyn that the men were pretty much ignoring her the entire time. And it reminded her of how she would get treated in school growing up. How did you guys feel watching this? Honestly, it cracked me up seeing how childish the men were acting. I did feel so bad for Michelle though about how upset she was, but I mean, you put the men in a childlike scenario and I guess that's how they're going to act. Clearly none of the men were smart enough to see that Michelle was alone by herself last night and it was such an opportunity to get time to talk with her. That's all anyone ever talks about on this show is getting time so I'm genuinely confused as to how no one used their time wisely during the group date last night. But Michelle ended up expressing to all of the guys about how they made her feel and they all went on to validate her and ensure her that she is seen. When it came down to the cocktail party, it wouldn't be a proper episode without some drama unfolding. So far, you guys, every single cocktail party since the start of Michelle's season has gotten ruined somehow, and it obviously happened again last night. Before Michelle could even get a word out, Chris S announced to her in front of all of the men that there's people there who think that they have it all in the bag. He says, quote, I think you should give time to other people who are here for you, who are showing you the effort that you deserve. The guys that think they have it in the bag should either speak up or go home. Michelle looked quite confused and said that she can assure everyone that no one has it in the bag, not even close. You guys, what is up with these men constantly trying to drag everyone down with them? I mean, first we had Jamie saying that everyone in the room was concerned about Joe and Michelle, and now we have Chris S saying that everyone thinks that they have it in the bag. I mean, again, kind of childish behavior, and honestly, I am not liking Michelle's group of men this season whatsoever, but let me know what you guys think. When Michelle went on to pull Chris aside to talk privately, he went into detail about what he had been saying. He even called out Nate specifically, who has been one of our front runners in the one that even got the first impression, Rose. When Michelle asked Nate about this, he told her that it wasn't true and she believed him. Nate then confronted Chris about why he would say that to Michelle. And Chris said that he only said his name because Michelle was quote unquote, probing him. Nate called Chris a dweeb before the rose ceremony started and him and Chris both got roses while Will, Romeo and Chris G were sent home. I honestly think that Chris S is the only one who thinks that he has it all in the bag. I mean, did you guys see when him and Michelle were done talking? It looks like he went in for a kiss and Michelle completely dodged him and gave him an awkward side hug while he kissed her on the cheek. It was such an awkward moment and I honestly think he's bound to go home very, very soon, but we will just have to wait and see. That is all I have for you guys until next week. Let me know 
how you felt about last night's episode and how you feel about Chris S down in the comments below. And again, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any other Bachelor Nation updates. I'm your host, Gianna Gravelisi. If you want to give me a follow and come say hello, my social handle is on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.